So in this tutorial, uh, we're going to, to model uh, this ceiling. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, how you can uh, use uh, blocks again in uh, Rhino to create this kind of effect. As you can see, these, uh, the ceiling is uh, like made out of these modules and we're just going to go over the techniques that we can utilize in Rhino to get this effect. Um, this is actually a song the house uh, designed by architect K. So I just wanted to give the credit and now let's, uh, let's start. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create um, some reference geometry. So let's go with 1.20 for example and here let's go with double that so it's 2.4 and let's close out this rectangle. Uh, now uh, let's see, um, okay so let's create uh, the lines like this and now what we can do is we can actually let's create these two as well and let's mirror them here so what we're doing now we're just creating this module and uh, we're uh, we're trying to get the same effect uh, of this single module as uh, in the image uh, this guy Okay, let's trim this, we don't need, and okay, so let's use curve boolean to create these polylines here, and now we only have polylines, we can, there's, there's a very cool trick, you can say select close curve, and now everything else is um, not closed, so we can use this uh, command here that says invert selection. So now it's going to select all the other curves that are not closed. That's what I want in order to delete them. So just delete them and now we just have these closed curves, which is cool. Uh, okay, so the next thing would be to rotate this guy. So what we can do is we can use rotate 3D. And what this, the, uh, this command does, it rotates my... Uh, I can actually specify the axis of rotation. And then I can say, okay, I want this to be rotated like, like so, for example, something like this. And now let's, let's move this guy down, set point, let's move it to Z and let's bring it down here. And we can actually move it exactly in the position. So this is starting to look like this module. Uh, now let's let's use planar surface on all of them to create the surfaces. And okay, so now now we need to create this inner edge here. So uh, let's let's first okay let's select this edge. I'm going to select all the curves and delete them now because we don't need them anymore. So I'm go I, I want to select this edge. How do I do this? I, I hold Control Shift and then press the left mouse button and it allows me to select these edges. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, I'm just gonna bring this down. I'm holding Alt and Control and let's say that I'm happy with this but I want to split it here. So I just go Trim select the cutting plane and we can just mirror this guy here easy as that let's select the curve delete okay so what's next so on this point i'm gonna use solid points on this point needs to be down until there so it gets this it creates this effect that we want and now let's again let's select these two let's say duplicate edge so now i have the curves from this i can join them now i go to the top view and offset them let's say 0 0.0.1 0 .1. this is enough yep and now let's 
let's split them here I'm gonna split this guy with this plane so I just have these two to delete now I'm going to just close these guys here and here and now I'm gonna select all the curves here and say planar surface and you create a surface for me and the last thing would be to actually bring bring this edge up a little bit so I'm just gonna extrude it up a little bit like so and let's split it again here and here let's delete this and we have basically the shape so this is this guy inside and uh, now you're pretty much done uh, I'm just going to create a block out of this base point I'm gonna say ceiling block and everything that I do in this single module will be reflected in all the modules so first let's see if everything fits I'm gonna copy it until there see if everything is okay so you can see there is some some uh, something that we need to correct so let's just go into the block because for example let's say that I copy this a couple of times let's say I copied it like four times and I copied here also like let's say a couple of times one two three four five six seven so that's that's gonna be the final ceiling surface so you see that there's this uh, uh, thing that we need to correct here so if I didn't create a block I would need to delete everything and then just correct it and then copy it once more but if you have the block you can just double click it here and you can say select these two solid points on and let's bring it bring it back I'm gonna say uh, bring me to uh, y-axis and let's say until there once I press ok everything will be corrected see so that's the beauty of it um, now the last thing is that I'm just going to I'm just going to close it off I'm gonna use this command here to to create these surfaces and I'm gonna copy these guys a couple of times like so and let's do the same here let's copy it a couple of times and this is my ceiling as you can see this defect uh, that's the effect that we get and um, right now I'm just going to uh, insert a couple of lights here uh, to get the similar effect as these guys and then we are going to render this um, hope that you like this video and if you know somebody that would benefit from it please share and uh, let's spread the word here is the final rendering hope that you like it if you have any questions comments or suggestions please write them down in the comment section below this video and uh, if you like this kind of tutorials please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video